Today I want to show you my toy. It's called NXT and it's by Lego and also called My Stone NXT. Uh, I remember it was bought in early 2008. It was post Christmas sale. Uh, I think it was 20% off. So basically you can build a robot with the uh, uh, Lego pieces. These are some examples you can build with the uh, parts. Surprisingly, here is also showing you can use the phone to control the robot and it, this one is not even a smartphone. If I open it, then you can see in the middle there's uh, the controller which has a display and it has uh, three motors and four sensors here. And at the top here, it shows all the parts. And I can open the box. At the moment, there's nothing. It's nothing there. At that time, I haven't done the unboxing video, but I've done a small demo video showing the robot. In the box, it comes with a CD-ROM. The requirement for the software is Windows XP and Intel Pentium 800Hz. It also comes with some stickers, the USB cable. It also gives me a track plan so I can program the robot to follow the black line and running on the floor. A small st start starting up menu and a more detailed menu showing how to build some assemble robot. The program on the CD uh, allow you to program the robot with some building blocks. It's basically a graphical interface you just drag and drop and enter some parameters. It's very easy to program, but I normally use the text program language that was open source on the internet. I have bought uh, some boxes for to sort the parts, and so I got the overview of all the parts. It's easier to find a particular part to build a certain thing. And here you can see that this is the touch sensor and this is the light sensor and this one is the sound sensor, it's basically the microphone. There's a more parts here. And here are some cables and the bigger parts and this is uh, another sensor this is called a ultrasonic sensor which is used to measure the distance and all of them using this cable to connect to the controller you can see here numbers with one two three four this is uh, the input for the sensor. Then the other side, I have to plug the sensor. And it comes with three motors. And it's just using the same cable. But these are the Output and the model are plugged in here. And all these are driven by six AA batteries. I love this battery case without any screws, just open and close. And here is the USB connection to transfer programs. 
or you can also use Bluetooth to transfer. In this video, I'm going to show you how to send Bluetooth messages directly to this box and control the motors. Now I want to show you my basic program and show you how to send the Bluetooth command directly to the NXT unit. Uh, here is my app. Uh, it's actually called uh, IFO Basic. Uh, I got it from Play Store a long time ago, but I uh, saw people talking about it. It's no longer on Play Store. You should be able to find it in the uh, IFO Basic forum. I've done some video using this uh, program to control my Devoom time box, uh, the Bluetooth speaker. Therefore, I'm not going to, to the details. I just want to give you a quick look into my program. So here, you can load the program here. And it's called NXT Move. And at the beginning here, you should be able to see some here, uh, I define the uh, Bluetooth binary commands and here go down here is the uh, ui and then there are some lines here i i, I will put a link for download uh, before we start it we need to start this unit uh, you can see i put it on the a port and this is the motor i just do for demonstration, I just put one more stick here so you can see the rotation. So let's turn it on. You only have to make sure the Bluetooth is enabled. So now run the program. It's asking me to enable the Bluetooth. Then you will see here NXT here. Then you try to connect. Okay, connected. And I've put some buttons here. And here I also put the display, the rotation. Let's start it. I turn it to the left. Uh, just look at the pointer here. We should turn just one around uh, 360 degree. It's not exactly because when I stop it, sometimes it just shoot over. I also put some lines of code to slow down when they come to close to the, the end. And I turn it back to the right and you can see also see here it's almost 360 is more than that. So I turn it back. And then in over. Okay, and I've got a stop button. Sometimes my code doesn't work properly. I have to stop it. And uh, yeah, this is basically just a demonstration. You can have a look into the code. And it also show you how to read the rotation. Uh, if you want to get all the commands, you can get the spec. Uh, I couldn't find it on the official legal site. I got it from there, but you still can Google it. Uh, try to Google NXT direct command. I will put the details in the description. Uh, from the official spec, it's very hard to understand. Uh, I will give you a link to some examples. People ha have done something and it's, it's easier to learn from example. So this is just a short demonstration. I hope you find the video interesting. If you like the video, please give me a thumb up. Thank you for watching. Bye.